these are some very interesting devices from Samsung. I'm talking about, of course, the Galaxy Fold 5 and the Flip 5. Now, I'm here in South Korea in Seoul. Uh, I came for Galaxy Unpacked and I got to see the devices firsthand. I do have them here. We did a lot of camera stuff, so you'll see that soon because I'm staying in Seoul for till the weekend and then I'm heading to Japan and I've got a ton of fun camera videos for you guys but I still want to do a gaming video and we kind of know what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 does but you know how does it function on these devices and what can we expect now this is done the e from board at work and if you're joining us for the first time hit that subscribe button and notification icon so you can watch more videos like this but okay let's put it this way right we have two devices that one feels exciting which of course is the galaxy z flip 5 and one feels kind of stale which is the galaxy fold uh, 5 but that doesn't mean there aren't some really exciting functionalities built into those two devices so let's start with the fun one right this is the flip 5 which has an external cover display 3.4 inches it looks pretty nice and i would love to do some gaming on that cover display we've seen that with motorola but let's just put it right right now, I can't because the cover OS or at least the cover um, good luck app is not available yet. The device is not launched, so I can't judge it on that. I just have to wait and see when it becomes available. Um, but that being said though, it's nice and smooth to navigate through. It doesn't say if this d display has a faster refresh rate, so we don't know about that, but we'll wait and see. Meanwhile, the internal display is massive, 6.7 inches. The crease, you can still feel it, but you know what, whatever it is, what it is, 120 hertz right there, right? And we've got some really banging speakers on both devices. And uh, yeah, watch my speaker test video, but listen to it when we get to the gameplay sessions with this. Now, the Fold 5, this looks like the regular Fold. It's got, of course, that cover or front display that is slimmer. Uh, it's a bit wider than last year, but you know, it's in like millimeters, it's not that much. Uh, but we do have 120 hertz in that front display and then we also have another 120 hertz with this internal display so we've got that there and honestly when it's opened up it looks fantastic just just look at this look at that just look at spider-man right there right it looks pretty good it looks really nice it's solid but what about gameplay what do we expect from this device while gaming are we getting anything different so when we jump into that gaming and uh, and honestly guys tell me what you think about the camera angles here i was using my gopro to shoot it i figured it would be fast and easy for me uh, again i'm on the road uh, but the gaming experience feels very comfortable and the performance you should expect with the snapdragon 8 gen 2 for galaxy so in terms of benchmarks you're looking like ga at games like Call of Duty Mobile on both devices. Both the Fold 5 and the Flip 5 are doing a solid 89 frames per second. No stress, none of that stuff there. All right. And then we move over to PUBG Mobile. Again, a solid 60 frames per second on both devices. But you know what? I can keep talking. I want you guys to just watch some of that gameplay and see how well it performs with uh, both devices. Right, it's pretty cool, works well, no problem. Now, what about Genshin Impact? Well, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it should perform exactly the same as the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it does. For both devices, you're gonna get 60 frames a second, and it's gonna drop down a little bit. Uh, I didn't play for hours like I usually do, I played for about 30 minutes, and I was still held high 50s to 60 frames per second on there. So performance was great, and those games handled well. 
But what about temperatures? Now, temperatures kind of rose high a little bit. You know, it's getting closer to uh, about 45 uh, degrees is what I got reading off the device. I was using the game plugin app uh, from Samsung and also just used my temperature gun, which read about 43. So 45 internally actually kind of makes sense. Uh, on the Galaxy Z Flip, while on the Fold, it was closer to about 43 or so. So again, those temperatures are kind of high. And I think Samsung, even though they claim they have vapor chambers there, I don't think they've done much improvement in the past. So as a mobile gamer, you're gonna get solid performance from both devices. You're gonna get solid gameplay here. Now I say for the Galaxy Z Flip 5, this is more of the part where I'm excited because you're getting some really good performance. Battery drain was actually pretty solid here. Uh, you know, for a full hour of gameplay, I lost maybe about 50%. So that was actually pretty good. Um, and I wanna see what it does with the cover display once we actually have that capable and available here. On the fold, it's solid. I do like the fact that yes, when you fold it down and you use the cover display on there, it feels like a 21 by nine aspect ratio. It's really nice, especially for a lot of uh, shooters. Uh, and also it expands well. I do like the fact that Samsung does a good job switching between the cover and of course the main display quite effectively. And you can game with two apps at the same time. So there you have it. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should care about gaming on foldables or are we just a bit disappointed that Samsung didn't do much more with the Galaxy Fold 5? I still like this device. I know that cover display kind of hurts people a little bit, uh, but I think it's really solid and the hinge on this thing is, is just check this out, check this out, check this out. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I can hold it this way. It's not even close, but you can see how it stays pretty well. And also this cover display should be fun. So anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. All right, let me show you my view. This is pretty awesome. Just look at that. Very, very cool.